We're here at Mount Joyce, which is just outside Bow Desert in the scenic Rim Regional Council in Queensland. In 2011, as part of the SCQ or South East Queensland Water Grid, they um, put uh, wire along dam in, and as part of that, they've built uh, I think about 40 kilometres of mountain bike trails in the area, and um, we get you know lovely views here of the dam um, as we ride around up on up on the hill of Mount Joyce and the wire along dam. The elite men will be doing three laps of this course. Uh, it's 24K, so totaling up at 72. And all our age group, elite women, and everyone's up for that 72 kilometre challenge. So it's going to be pretty tough. There's about 850 metres of vertical climbing uh, per lap. So that's going to be well over 2,000 vertical metres of climbing over that 72K. So, so each lap you've got two pretty big climbs up till pretty much the top of the hill each lap. Um, so it's going to be a climber who wins the race, but there's also a lot of technical descending. So it's going to be a real all-rounder after the wins tomorrow, I reckon. It's bedded in a lot since a few years ago when we were here and the, the venue was brand new. Um, I think it's probably riding a bit faster and it's, it's certainly a lot of fun. It's very technical in the descents. Uh, climbing doesn't seem as hard this time, the way it's been linked it up. Um, so, yeah, I reckon I'm yeah, in for a good shot. Sean Lewis and myself um, will be taking on the elite men's field and, um, and yeah, we've sort of probably got about five guys that we'll be keeping an eye on and, and uh, between us we hope one of us can win. With Andy, I uh, guess he, he was second here when I was third. Um, now we're teammates, hopefully, yeah, we can put the tricks together and, yeah, come out on top. This is a fairly um, tough course, they say, and I'm just hoping that people go out too hard too fast and um, leave me some pieces to pick up at the end of the race. So we'll see what happens. And they're racing. The pace at the start was pretty fast with Corey Wallace uh, tacking up the first climb. I just tried to make sure I was close to him in the first first um, single track climb and got around him before the descent and um, sort of tried to build a little bit of a lead by descending smooth and um, managed to get a small gap on that first descent and then um, sort of felt like I could ride my own pace with a clear track and um, yeah just sort of got into a got into my rhythm and um, and yeah just tried to conserve a bit for the last laps and uh, managed to build a little bit of a lead and every time I was getting uh, splits back from the rest of the race I was hearing you know my teammate was there behind with AJ and it was with um, Sean for most of the race. Um, he's a good friend of mine, so we were kind of just sharing the pace a little bit. But um, there's not much sort of help you could actually give each other, really. It's, there's not much sort of, you know, drafting or anything like that. So um, he'd lit a little bit of single track, I'd lit a little bit of single track. Um, you know, we are going pretty hard for the two laps chasing, and then um, that third lap, the lights just went out for me, and that was it. Sean rode off, so yeah. Uh, AJ's riding really good pace, I thought, for the first two laps. But Blair, was just, yeah, on fire out the front. Uh, I went around AJ, started the last lap, I did what I could, but yeah, Larry was long gone. The course is amazing, you know, and I think it's special to have a, a really tough and brutal track for the national championships. It's uh, it's the biggest race of the year in, in terms of marathons in Australia, and um, oh, look, I'm absolutely stoked to, to re regain the, the national championship jersey in marathon. 2014 Australian Mountain Bike Marathon National Champion. You know, I had it in 2012 and to get it back means so much to me and this year um, my focus is the Commonwealth Games but um, to pull this off is an absolute bonus so um, so yeah you know my years of success now and um, yeah so it's definitely good for the confidence and I'll try and sharpen up for the shorter format going into Peter Maritzburg and the Cairns World Cup. It's going to be a race of attrition I think this course is always uh, quite testing and when I did it last in 2011 um, I, I I did say that it was the hardest marathon I'd ever done. <laughs> Jenny Faye's in the race and I think she'll be the favourite. Jodie Willett's there as well, so she's a fast one. I'll try and go with her, but yeah, I'm not sure. I think she's a bit quicker on the, on the starts than me. Yeah, I went hard out in the first lap, so I was kind of testing them and seeing who was strong and who who, who was going to go it. But you know, it's a it's their race, so I think they'd be smart enough not to chase me and just to look out for each other and keep their energy for 
for, for the girls that are in the race, or really, so I just kind of tried to make it my own race and go as hard as I could. On the first lap in sixth position, I think, and I thought, oh, geez, <laughs> this is hard. The four of us sort of made a, a bit of a break, and on the second lap, I got a bit of a gap on the really steep, steep climb on the second lap and just sort of made a break for it. And yeah, I just knew I was in second and and um, it was like a green and gold jersey. So it's like, keep going. Give me five coming around to take the uh, win. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Yeah, it was a very tough race. This red set second across the line and will also take home the coveted green and gold jersey. So I'm really shocked and surprised and yeah, just yeah, it's amazing. I can't, yeah, I can't believe it. It was really hard. That's that was a really tough race. Um, I cramped pretty hard on the last lap. Okay.